Last week, I discovered I am fat. This is news to me. I didn't know I was fat. I thought I just broke 200 pounds. But you know, my weight fluctuates. It goes up, it goes down. It's mostly muscle mass. I'm a big bone man after all. However, I found out that I am too big to paraglide. I don't even think I knew what paragliding was. And then I learned about it and then found out I'm too big to do it. How? because I was asked to do this video shoot by my good friend Tawanto. Basically, the way this video shoot works is that we'd be trying three different modes of transportation. One is paragliding, one is rock climbing, and one is foiling. That thing that Mark Zuckerberg does sometimes. So basically, we needed to try the three new modes of transportation in real life that you can now do in the new region of Natlin and Genshin Impact. This is all to celebrate Genshin Impact's new 5.0 patch. They're also giving away a ton of rewards to players to celebrate, including a free 5-star standard banner character, tons of free pulls, and a way to jump straight into the new Natlin storyline. And you can find the link and the gift code in the description to jumpstart to that Natlin storyline. Now back to my storyline of finding out the horrendous news. I was basically just hanging out with Connor all day, and it started out with e-foiling, which is actually a lot of fun. It's basically like an electric surfboard, so you don't have to do any effort or even wait for a wave. You just stand up, and then you zoom. And I don't mean to brag a little bit, but I was actually the best in the group. At least I thought, until I asked the instructor. Could you tell me who you thought did the best of the group? Oh, definitely Connor. What the fuck, man? <laughs> did you guys talk about this before? No, dude, you don't see me. I, I had the phone going in up. and out, bro. I was crushing. Were you up? Then we did some rock climbing, which I do not like, okay? I don't like rock climbing for a couple of reasons. One, I'm a little too big for the wall, so carrying my ass up that shit is a way harder than it is for, like, these, I see, 10-year-old kids who weigh 60 pounds who fly up the wall with no problem at all. I also feel like this specific rock climbing gym was extra hard in their grading for no reason. I used to rock climb a bunch. I would be able to climb V4s, sometimes V5s if I'm really feeling myself. At this gym, I'm not lying, I could not do a V1. This bat hang climb was a V2. V2? For that? So I was already feeling a little down when we headed to our final destination of the day, paragliding. Again, I've never done this before, but basically you just jump onto like a parachute into the wind and then you can fly around. However, sensically, you can only do it when there's strong enough winds. And when we showed up to do it, they told me and Connor that we were a little too big. Because of the wind conditions today, anybody above 150 pounds cannot fly. <laughs> Born to fly, forced to eat. And so we were relegated to the ground where basically we had to wait and solve a puzzle that is supposed to be for third graders that I thought was way too hard for an adult man who's 29 years old while they flew in the air and had a bunch of fun. And I know they had a bunch of fun because when Lily Pichu came down, she started telling me all about it. You know how are sad you, are it is? Are you just saying that because we can't go off? You know what they told us when we said, can we fly? What, what wink, wink, little piggies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying when I say this might be the top five greatest moments of my life. There is an update for you guys. <laughs> what? The wind is picked up and both of you can now fly. Oh, suck it! <laughs> We're <waiting>. flying! <laughs> oh, do you feel big now? Lily Pichu getting gagged by the facts and evidence that I can paraglide, all right? I just need it for a little win, baby. All right, good old Poseidon's got my back. He's throwing them gusts in there by Helios. I think that's the correct Greek. I don't remember. It's been a while since I read Percy Jackson. I basically have to spoon this guy named Charlie behind me who's been doing this for 35 years. I love and respect my man, Charlie. And he tells me to run off a cliff, which is a weird thing to do. Mentally, it is difficult to get the cojones to run off a cliff and know that this thing above me will secure me and that these ropes and stuff will not make me fall. And the way the wind hits this giant wall, it shoots straight up the wall and then goes into our little paraglide thing. And so you can basically go over different canyon sections back and forth, back and forth, and get a bunch of air. I have to say, after doing both skydiving and paragliding, paragliding is way more fun, and skydiving is just way more scary without the fun part. Because you basically just fall and then float. In this one, you float, but you get to move around and fly and do little tricks and what have you. What do you think? High five? Okay, high five. Oh my god! <laughs> I forced my British friend Connor to try American transportation, specifically the Amtrak train from San Diego to Los Angeles. Wow! This is a real American business this, class train. This is, this is like oh, filth no. compared to the rest. You can't say that. You can't and I have to say, it's not bad. Like $55 business class, look at all the food we got. It was a pretty good deal. Charlie also later told me that he once went paragliding with a 300 pound man. So don't let your dreams be dreams. No matter how big you are, go paraglide. 
That was not a threat. That sounded like a threat. It wasn't a threat. But do go download Genshin Impact. I'd appreciate it. You can also go to Tuanto's channel to see the entire video, which was actually really fun to do. Thank you so much to Tuanto for inviting me. All right, thank you for watching. See you later, Ludwin viewers. All right, goodbye. See you later. Goodbye now. Subscribe. See you later. Goodbye.